in a dam near their village, children find refuge from the sweltering African heat. But in this water, they're exposed to a parasitic disease that can cause bleeding and severe organ damage. Urinary schistosomiasis, caused by worms, hosted by a snail. So what happens is the children urinate in the water and in their urine are eggs. The eggs hatch and they infect the snail. In the snail they develop into the form that can infect humans. It actually penetrates the skin and uh, sets up shop in the human. The female worms uh, produce eggs. It's essentially thousands and thousands of eggs working their way out of the body through the bladder into the urine. They cause bleeding, and that's why the manifestation of the disease is blood and urine. This disease can stunt a child's growth and impair learning. Young victims are more vulnerable to other infections like malaria and tuberculosis. Schistosomiasis is rampant in Africa's rural areas with little or no access to safe water, but it's largely neglected. In Nigeria, an estimated 16 million children are infected. Hundreds of millions of people in 74 countries are victims of this disease, despite the availability of an inexpensive cure, a drug called praziquantel that costs only 20 cents per treatment taken orally once a year. This medicine, when provided once a year, to, uh, particularly aimed at school children, dramatically reduces the blood in the urine that the children have uh, as a result of the infection. So we've seen a decrease from over 50% of children having blood in their urine to now less than 5%. Once treated, children are more alert in the classroom and score better on tests. They grow taller and gain weight, an opportunity all children deserve. But while schistosomiasis can be controlled, treatment and health education must continue as reinfection easily occurs. Since 1999, the Carter Center has worked with the Nigerian government to reduce the prevalence of schistosomiasis by providing health education and single annual doses of praziquantel to communities with the highest rates of infection. One and a half. It's the largest initiative treating this disease in Africa's most populous nation. And then these children will all get uh, praziquantel this week. And we hope that we'll be able to increase the administration of this uh, medicine. The unfortunate part is that we don't get, we can't get free Paziquantel on an average size person. Uh, it costs about 20 cents. It doesn't seem like 20 cents is all that much, but to raise enough money to treat, you know, millions of people, uh, it takes a lot of uh, contribution from donors. The Nigerian program can now buy only a fraction of the Paziquantel needed here but its successful efforts provide hundreds of thousands of children an opportunity to thrive.